when I was 18, after my freshman year in college, I came home to start working for the summer. I'd been home three days and I got very sick, ended up in the hospital. And uh, I ended up going to the Cleveland Clinic where uh, I was put in constant care, which is more extreme than intensive care. What had happened, I had a massive infection set in in my intestines. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. This was in the days before computers. They couldn't look out, up in a database. They eventually found what was wrong with me by going through autopsy records. What I had was a condition that's almost 100% fatal after you're a year old, and this happened to me when I was 18. Um, it, it, there was many different levels of experience that I had there. One was the physical experience, which was very terrifying to my body. Um, the other thing was that I had two sets of doctors. I had a set of doctors working on me on the physical on this side. I had another set of doctors working me on the metaphysical or the spiritual side. And what the, the words I would use to describe that now would be I had a uh, software and hardware upgrade. Um, my uh, experience was one of extreme bliss at the same time contrasting with what my body was going through. I had spirit beings watching my body. I had, uh, I had experience of being in other people's bodies. Um, and it really was something that I had never experienced before. I wasn't ready for it. There was nobody around that could help me understand what was going on. It just wasn't in my culture. I came up with the term that I needed I never wanted to die alone and what came up for me since that time 42 years ago is that really what I wanted was I wanted I didn't want to die not knowing who I was um, it opened me up in ways that were amazingly profound and beautiful it gave me a better appreciation for life allowed me to let go of a lot of things that I've been holding on to at such an early age and transform my life. It was the beginning of my spiritual life.